Bloody Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Jujutsu Kaisen chapter 66. So we are in a flashback arc right now and I love it because I love fucking Gojo. He's just mm, um he's just awesome. But like this is really interesting because we never got the full backstory um in Tokyo Metropolitan Magical School, so I'm really glad that Gege is doing this. Anyway, um and there's there's total purpose to all this as well uh but i'll get to uh, that when we get to the, the end of this chapter so uh let's get to chapter 66 which is titled hidden inventory part two escort the girl and erase her correct he's finally lost it it's spring after all and with him being the next principal and all he's getting carried away um i'll just uh i'll decide all jokes aside are we re uh resetting master tengen's curse technique I'll decide whether that's considered a joke or not. What's that? You should know this five. What? Master Tengen possesses the curse technique of immortality. Wait. Master Tengen possesses the curse technique of immortality? What? But it doesn't stop the aging process. Master Tengen doesn't have a particular issue with aging. However, once a certain age is reached, um, the curse, uh, curse technique will try to change bodies. That is interesting. I love this. Hmm? Evolution. Master Tengen will no longer be human and will ascend to a higher state. So what's the problem? That's rad. I win Gojo on this one. According to Master Tengen, um, the will also ceases to exist once you reach that level. Master Tengen will no longer be Master Tengen. Oh, so basically, um, it's got, it sounds like a state of enlightenment kind of thing. And we got something similar going on in the last Suyuki um, in regards to becoming a true human. So I, I think that's my guess. I'm very curious if um, what you guys think in regards to what's being said here. Do you guys think that this is like a state of enlightenment kind of thing or do you think it's something else? Let me know in the comment section. Uh, the barriers that protect both uh, jujitsu schools, the pillars of the jujitsu uh, world, um, numerous auxiliary managers, uh, barrier techniques, they're all strengthened by Master Tengen. Without Master Tengen, security and even undertaking missions would become more difficult. Worst case scenario, uh, Master Tengen could become an enemy to humanity. That's why once every 500 years, Master Tengen uh, needs to uh, merge with a compatible uh, star plasma vessel and rewrite the body's information. If the body is refreshed, then the curse technique will follow suit. Evolution will not occur. Gotcha. So becoming Metal Greymon is fine, but it'd be, <laughs> it'd be a problem if he became Skull Greymon. So we reset back to Coral Bob, right? Oh my God. Gage, you have made my life right now. We got a Digimon reference. Oh my God. We got a Digimon reference. This makes me so happy. Oh my god. I love Digimon. Digimon is such a, a fucking good ant. Well, did, at least seasons one through uh, three are good. Four, wasted potential in four. But anyway. Um, uh, right. Anyway, the location of the Star Plasma vessel has been leaked. There are um, now two groups targeting the girl. The organization aiming to overturn the current Jujutsu world by having Master Tengen lose all reason. Um, the curse user group Q. And the group that worships Master Tengen as their deity, the star religious group known as the Time Vessel um, Association. Master Tengen and the Star Plasma Vessel will merge in two days when the moon is full. Escort the girl and bring her to Master Tengen. If you fail, the repercussions could greatly affect society. Don't screw this up. But for real, I get why the curse user group Q is after her, but why does the star religious group want to kill her? What they worship is a pure Master Tengen. A star plasma vessel would soil that purity according to them. That makes a lot, that makes sense. I, I was about to say, like, that. <laughs> uh, but the star religious group are non-curse users. We shouldn't have to worry about them too much, but we uh, do need to be wary of Q. Anyway, it should be okay. We're the strongest. That's why Master Tengen asked us after what? It's just, Saro, um, I've been meaning to, add, to tell you this. You should be more mindful of the way you talk. What? Particularly around your superiors, we might be meeting Master Tengen after all. You're way too rude. That way, even your juniors won't be scared of you. Sheesh, give me a break. Huh? Isn't our fault if the kid's already dead? Uh-oh. Ah. Ooh. Forgive me. Oh, Q Soldier Kokun. You can blame this on Tengen. What? Don't go making a mess now. We uh, just got in trouble this morning. The girl is the star. This girl is the star plasma vessel. Th that uniform. You're from Jujutsu High, aren't you? Hand over the child or die. Sorry, I can't hear you. Come a little closer, would you? Oh gosh, you made it just in time. Amazing, dude. Fucking Gojo, man. 
this man is a beast. He fucking just stopped knives in midair. That is so freaking cool. Amazing. You're Sadara Gojo. You're famous. I've heard you're strong. Uh, Q Soldier, that's Q Soldier Bear. Show me if the rumors are true. Sure, but clink, 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 clink. Let's make a rule. Rule? I don't want to go all out and get in trouble. Cry and apologize now and I won't kill you. I kill ya. That's the rule. Brat. <laughs> character like well after um after my boy mojito of course fuck gojo you might surpass mojito as my first as my favorite character at this fucking manga god damn it and so it begins we the star religious group don't have the power to fight but we have plenty of money i assure you of that how about it how bad it's zenin how's a little star plasma vessel assassination sound to you i don't go by zenin anymore i got married and took my wife's name i go by fushiguro now <gasps> Sounds good, I accept your offer. Wait, what? Fushi, what the fuck? Fushi, the Gumi's dad? No! Oh my god! Oh my god, this is crazy! But I really love this. I love the cursed power of immortality and um, we're gonna learn more about Fushiguro, uh, for, uh, you know, Megumi's dad, which I think is gonna be very, very interesting because we, we the thing that was interesting, and I love that he mentioned that he's no longer part of the Zenin clan and shit, because uh, we found that out like in the um, in the school uh, games arc basically that um, that Megumi is a Zenin, so a uh, rejected uh, like an outcasted Zenin, but still a Zenin. Anyway, I'm really curious what you guys. Um, uh, thought of this chapter and what you guys think of the direction Gage is going in and what do you think about Fushiguro being here like or Megumi's dad being here uh, this is gonna be very 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 interesting this will be a very interesting fight if we, especially if we get Gojo versus um Fushiguro oh my god I'm gonna lose my shit if that happens anyway let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys thought of this chapter and um remember to uh, and also what did you think about the Digimon reference I need to know let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like comment share and subscribe to Nerdy and Zinc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Jujutsu Kaisen content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!